Have you ever noticed on very cold nights or very cold mornings that the snow has a nice sparkle to it? Tell me it's sparkle fairies that visit at night. It's a little more scientific than that. And it's not actually the snow that twinkles. There's something else that's happening. While the snow is comprised of ice crystals, it takes something a little different to make the surface of the snow look like someone dumped glitter on it. It's because of a thing called hoarfrost. Hoarfrost forms when water vapor changes to a solid or ice while skipping the liquid phase. We call this deposition. The water vapor comes into contact with frozen snow, causing it to freeze, leaving ice crystals behind. Those ice crystals sparkle, making the snow twinkle. Why does it only happen at night or in the morning? Well, that's a great question, and it's very important in understanding how hoarfrost works. At night, the air over the snow on the ground cools the surface of the snow more than the snow inside. This causes an evaporation process to take place, releasing some water vapor into the air. This process is the opposite of deposition. It's called sublimation. This is where ice or a solid turns directly into a gas while skipping the liquid phase. Have you ever seen shrunken ice cubes in the freezer? Yeah, those are the worst. They are. And that's sublimation. The ice cubes are just evaporating like some of the snow. The snow that evaporates is the source of the water vapor that freezes on top of the snow, creating the ice crystals that sparkle. Hoarfrost doesn't just occur on top of snow either. Where else do you see it? You can see it collect on many different cold surfaces. Aside from the sparkling snow around here, you see it happen most frequently on lake surfaces. Hoarfrost creates little frost balls like you see here from Deep Creek Lake. I think sparkle fairies would have been cooler. Sorry, reporting from home. I'm Elizabeth Petlin. And I'm meteorologist Ray Petlin. Sparkle fairy. It's in my beard, isn't it?